Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with your Struel, of course, this character. And today we're going up Ghost to Hunt. And this guy battled before, actually, we had a legendary battle, but um, sadly due to our team being, well, Ormanur, but our sweepers, it was actually quite a stally game and I couldn't upload it, and I lost that, that battle, actually, too. Um, but yeah, I asked for a new battle yesterday and he responded to it, so we're definitely, definitely looking forward to this. I really want to try out this team. Um, the only like Pokemon I haven't used before in this team, or they have used before, is Rhydon. But besides that, they're all new. And um, <clears throat> other than that, just have a fast up to you guys. I won't be able to upload throughout this week at all, probably. It is because, due to me being sick, I have a lot of work to catch up on. And basically, I'm looking at doing like 50, 60 hours this week. So I hope to be able to have a stream on Saturday, but there will be a late stream and not too long, if that's the case. But I won't make any promises, but I will keep you posted or updated on Twitter, so make sure to follow me there, of course, if you want to find out. But other than that, let's check out this team, actually. We're going up against Miltank Steelix, Leveny, Feraligator, Volbit, and, of course, a Rhydon. So definitely a very standard enemy team, you know, very powerful, very threatening. So, um, I was a bit nervous, to be honest. I really didn't think I could um, have an honest chance here. Uh, if I let him set up uh, his uh, Feraligator, then I am in trouble. I have very few responses to that. I'm myself using a Hiriyama, which is a sheer booster one. Uh, Pelipper, Rhydon, Vormadan, Ninjas, which choice banded, and uh, another set of Golurk. But yeah, this battle is sped up because, uh, as you see, he had a lot of walls and I have not enough power to deal with them. So I have speared that up just to... Uh, well, you just have a great idea what's going on. So, anyway, guys, let's go. So, yeah, due to his team being so, you know, overpowering, really, I decided to bring Hiriyama straight off the bat and just hurt whatever is in. And this is, like I said, live orb version with Share Force. And Force Palmix is the only move there. So, I decided to actually go with that. And uh, it doesn't do much more damage than Ice Punch does. So, I definitely know, you know, I'm. Um, Probably a close combat, much bit better off. So I'm going to, you know, switch that out and out. But yeah, here we did some fair damage here, dealing with even like Rhydon and whatnot. So we really got this coming in, and I have no proper responses to this. I really don't. Uh, my Warmadan is actually not overcoded. It has uh, anticipation to predict the um, hidden power fires. So due to that, I was just basically staying in there, hoping that if I wake up, that you know I am able to actually do some significant amount of damage, but he's gonna go for the pedal dance and he's definitely enough to take me out. So now I know he's locked that, so I can bring in Jage, which is like I said, the choice bandit uh, ninja So I'm just gonna go for U-turn, take him out, but Sash! Yeah, that is really, really frustrated. I did not see that, so sorry Lord is coming in, which is like I said, the warmer Dan. And the anticipation is not shivering, so that means that he has no real move that can attack me. But then at the same time, he still does like a lot of damage. I am defensively invested, and I'm really feeling that throughout his hits. Resisted damage by 4? Yeah, I don't think so. But Gyarabal will take this Pokemon out, which is extremely important. Because Liligant is actually quite formidable against this team, because it doesn't... I should have a Grass type that can actually deal with it properly. So anyway, it's gonna go into Steelix here, and uh, there is really nothing I can do. I'm just gonna go into my Quack, which is gonna be the Pelipper, and it's um defensive Pelipper with a rocky helmet and actually some special attack investment just to be able to gen something really. So it's gonna go for Gyro Ball, and it won't even move my HP bar, but Rocky Helmet will move his. And I am expecting the uh, Rodent to come in here, so I'm just gonna go for a Scold and see how much it does. Um, Due to my team having two ground types, I really didn't feel comfortable staying in anyway. But I really didn't think he would go for a Volt Switch. He does this, and yeah, that really sucks. It doesn't do that much damage though, so I know I shouldn't be too worried. And um, the mill tank is there, and um, yeah, there is not too much I can do from this. So I'm just gonna go for Protect, trying to get some recovery going. Then after this, actually trying to go for a Toxic. Just to, you know, getting some momentum, but I actually missed the Toxic, and he went for a Toxic too, probably not knowing my type-in. So I was thinking, since I showed the Toxic, he might as well, you know, switch out to Steelix, so I felt more comfortable going for Stealth Rocks. 
he stays in. He doesn't care. And um, really at this point I was like, okay, then I probably should, you know, just keep going at it. And um, I actually scored the Toxic now, which is, oh, finally, really? We're doing this now? Alright. Uh, but since I got the Stealth Rocks up, there's re actually the reason I don't switch out, because I really can't play around it too much. Uh, and, um, he is actually predicting my Protect, which is kinda obvious, and it's just gonna go for another Protect. Or Curse, of course, not Protect. And to basically, this is, like I said, you know, this is one of those moments that it's quite... It's not a stall fest, but he can't do anything to me, I can't do anything to him. He's gonna go down, probably eventually. But if you keep cursing that a body slam will break through and do more damage than it should have, which is obviously what it does staring, but due to paralyzation I get a much stronger gyro ball, which means nothing, because it's still a milk tank and its defenses are among gods, if anything. This cow is just too much to handle. So anyway, he's gonna go for a body slam again, I went for another gyro ball, hoping for him to predict me to go for a curse, uh, or protect of course, and the yeah, basically I'm going down. Psylord, you know, thank you. Definitely an awesome Pokemon, I'll try to use it more often, I really like it. So anyway, I'm just gonna go with my quack. And, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I just went for Roost. I really thought, you know, the Toxic will whittle him down. But he'll actually go for a Toxic here and not go in for a Body Slam, which I was anticipating, or rather hoping for, because of my Rocky Helmet and whatnot. So, that kind of sucks, because have, having quack on a timer is, um, it's kinda, it is an issue, I really need this thing to be bulky as ever because of the stealth rocks being around, which means that every time I switch in it's gonna lose one fourth of its HP, and that is just a very, very sad story. So anyway, I do expect him here to go for a Volt Switch this time, so he's gonna go into Thorn, which is of course my right period. And, um, yeah, I mean, I have nothing to do here, I went for Dragon Sail, which actually would have ended up in my demise a bit here, because had I just played cool and go for EQ, I would actually have do the damage I need to. Instead, I Dragon Tail this thing out of the way and bring the Feraligator of everything, and yeah, this is not working out at all now, is it? And I am basically forced to um, sack something. I'm gonna sack Megatron because it really can't do anything against the teammates he got left, and for Rapier is definitely more important than anything. This Niniask is very important too, so I need to keep that one around. So anyway, I'm just going to quack, and I'm gonna go for a Roost here. I probably should have gone for a Skull thinking about it, because I knew the road was gonna come in, and there is no way that he will actually have dealt with this anymore properly. So, yeah, I really play in his hand here, because I have nothing that can do anything like real against this Rotom, and he knows this. He really do, and he went for a trick here. Expecting me to switch out, taking my Violite and giving me the Scarf. And after this, I do the biggest misplay of every possible misplays. I went for an Earthquake. And I did this because I was so sure I was gonna switch out, but no! <laughs> and I, I have nothing to switch in here. I, I just need to accept my fate. And um, basically it's gonna go for another trick, taking back the Scarf, so my Ninjask is not able to outspeed. And... Uh, yeah... He got me. He got me good. <laughs> he really got me good. So my Rider's gonna go, go down, and you know, there is nothing I can do from this point on, really. And I'm just gonna go into my Quack. And I know it's locked to the Shadow Ball due to him taking my Scarf, so... If I remember correctly, I go in for a Skull there just to take it out, and uh, yes, for Alligator and Steelix left, and uh, yeah, I I don't have anything. I'm just gonna go for a Roost, I know I won't be able to outspeed, luckily for me though, he goes for the Sword Stance, which is great, it is, it's, it's a good sign. Uh, I'm basically gonna go for a Stress Play, as we see the Hurricane, and hoping to be able to take it out with conjunction of um, the Rocky Helmet. But I actually take that Ice Punt like a champ, but sadly this Hurricane is not enough. It is not enough. And sadly, even though a Ninjask has a dig, it won't be able to outspeed the Alligator because he has Aqua Jet. So a very, very abrupt ending here. I really thought I had this one, but yeah, 
Sometimes they have to play the cool, and I didn't do that. I I couldn't. <laughs> he got me, and uh, it was definitely a fun battle. I think a lot of foes got showcased here, and uh, yeah, my opponent played a mighty game and deserved rightfully so to win. So yeah, Ghost to Hunt was definitely uh, he was definitely like the better battler here, and he played the cool. Had I went for a Rock Blast instead of an EQ, I uh, guess this Rotom. Things might actually have turned quite differently because I had the game until that point. Uh, there was no way both Steelix nor the Fralliator could have taken out my Pelipper properly. Actually, and me doing roughly 50% of the Hurricane means that I know it has power enough to kind of deal with, you know, the issue that were at that point. But um, yeah, sometimes you know it isn't meant to be, and I'll definitely did. Um, I might have played too. <laughs> taking a few too many chances there and uh, me doing that definitely definitely wasn't last nail in coffin my opponent played a good game no doubt about it but um, i really i built enough momentum to uh, to preserve that and i just i didn't do it i really thought i could speed things up that i basically ended up in my demise um but yeah ghost on gg man um, definitely looking forward to battle you again and uh, to everybody else, you know, thank you for watching, of course. And like I said, I hope to stream this Saturday. And if so, I'll make sure you guys get to know that. Um, yeah, but besides that, you know, guys, don't forget to leave a like, as always, because it does help me out a lot. And if you're new to this channel, hey, sup, man. And don't forget to sub. <laughs> we need more of you guys here. Hey, we need to, like, we really need to get to 2000 before April. I don't think that's possible. But that, that is a goal, at least. So spread the word, right, sis? And remember, guys, the sky is the limit. Have a good day, guys, and take care, all right? Bye.